According to the CDC, fentanyl overdoses have killed more people since 2020 than COVID-19 car accidents and suicides. Fentanyl has surpassed methamphetamine as the leading cause of overdose deaths in the state of Arkansas. But an even more alarming stat is it's now making it into the hands of teenagers. There's another public health crisis that has been quietly unfolding across the country, killing 100,000 Americans in just 12 months. It killed nearly twice as many people as COVID, car accidents, cancer, and suicide. A heartbroken mother telling us her teenage son died after unknowingly taking a lethal dose of fentanyl. Mm. Good evening. Thanks for tuning in to Real America tonight, folks. Truly appreciate you trusting with our time. We begin tonight's program with a major crisis, as you just heard right there from multiple, multiple news sources. It's an epidemic, actually. One so great that most likely you know someone that has been affected by this crisis. A loved one, family member, neighbor, co-worker, it's an epidemic that knows no bounds. It's not concerned with race, age, political affiliation, or economic or social status. It's a killer, and it's most likely already in your community. I'm talking about the drug that is five times stronger than heroin and morphine, the drug that is so powerful that just a few granules can kill an average-sized adult. And what makes this epidemic so massive, especially as of late, is that the crisis at our southern border is exacerbating this epidemic. We've been reporting now nearly for 15 months on this program how Biden's border policies, or lack thereof, have followed the free flow of this extremely deadly drug. Many reports say that we are now seeing 500 to 600 times the amount of fentanyl in our country the same time the year before. Fentanyl, folks, fentanyl, fentanyl. Talk to your friends, neighbors, loved ones, kids about it today. Today marks the first ever National Fentanyl Awareness Day. This is an effort by the DEA to bring this epidemic into the mainstream headlines. Why? Well, because you heard in those news reports right there, it is the leading cause of death. I want you to listen to what I'm saying. It's the leading cause of death in Americans 18 to 45. You heard me correctly, 18 to 45. That stat should shock the hell out of you. It should wake you up. This is more than heart disease. This is more than cancer, car accidents, suicide. From April 2020, April 2021, fentanyl killed at least the ones we know of, over 110,000. That's the ones we know about. Experts now warning there is an alarming increase in these laced pills that the dealers are using today. They're telling folks, oh yeah, it's an Oxycontin, it's a Vicodin, it's a Xanax. Oh no, it's got fentanyl in it and it will kill you. The latest ones, especially the kids are buying online on social media, Adderall to stay awake, Xanax. Here's one of the scariest parts of all of this. Young adults nationwide are purchasing these laced fentanyl pills through Snapchat and TikTok primarily. And they're deadly, deadly pills. As I said earlier, there's no denying that Biden's border crisis is only worsening this problem. Thanks to Biden, we know for a fact that once he took office, the cartels took this as an open invitation to begin moving massive amounts of that drug into our country on the daily. According to Texas Governor Abbott, Texas Department of Public Safety, since Operation Lone Star began, more than 300 million lethal doses of fentanyl have been seized in Texas and at the border. That's just in Texas, and that's just the ones they caught. A man who's been raising the red flag about this epidemic for quite some time now, especially when it comes to the young people being affected. He's the former director of the DEA's Special Operations Division, and I would call him a friend. I'm so glad to have him back on the program to talk about this on this National Fentanyl Awareness Day, Derek Malt. Derek, how you been, sir? Thank you, Dan. I appreciate you having me back. You're a good man. Well, we, we've got to talk about this. You know it's affected my family personally, and every day we keep seeing the headlines of more and more, and not just young people, okay? These are 40-year-old housewives, 35-year-old construction working guy. Like, anybody that thinks, oh, I'm just going to go grab a, a Xanax bar from my friend on IG so I can get some sleep, or I'm going to have an Adderall so I can stay awake taking that test I've got to take, or, oh, my back's aching, and I, I couldn't get a new prescription of Vicodin, so I'll grab one from my buddy. It could be your death sentence. Right. I mean, Dan, just look what happened last week at Ohio State University. Two students dead. Yeah. Adderall. 
They thought they were taking Adderall, but they were taking poisonous fentanyl in the middle of finals week. I understand one of the students was pre-med. Oh. Now, just to put it in perspective, Dan, because I think visuals help a lot. Yeah. So this is 300 grams of salt. If this was fentanyl, 300 grams in this little bag, this could potentially kill 150,000 Americans. OK, so I think the public has to realize how deadly this poisonous fentanyl is. And then you got to understand how the Mexican cartels working with the Chinese criminals right. are taking total advantage of the weak security at the border. It's killing more Americans than any terrorist organization has ever killed. And people in America are unaware. So I applaud the DEA. I applaud the families across America who are fighting hard right now. Yeah. I work with these families. They're fighting hard to get the awareness out there. But Derek, is this administration fighting? Because I, I see the DEA that you used to work for doing this awareness day today to draw awareness, but I don't hear Joe Biden or Kamala Harris or any of these <clears throat> jerk offs in this regime coming out, making statements like this is a major crisis. Americans are dying. We've got to do something. I haven't heard that right, from them. Dan, I heard it under the, Trump. He was trying to get a handle on it. Right, Dan, you're right on point. So bottom line is, you know, President Biden said what an unusual and extraordinary threat the drug crisis is to the national security of America. No kidding. But then he doesn't talk about this crisis, killing kids at record levels. The borders are, she's nowhere to be found. <laughs> and we have this unprecedented yeah. historic level of deaths. And she's not talking about it. That's what the families are upset about. There's nobody other than the DEA and our state and local and some of our federal partner agencies, Homeland Security Investigations and some others. But the White House is silent, even though we've had mass casualty events right. in Washington, D.C., where in April, I think there were 10 that died around one or two days from the fentanyl. Then in January, there were nine that died but the DEA administrators out there saying and talking about it, we don't see public service announcements from the drug czar's office. We don't hear from President Biden. He's still using old talking points on the opioid addiction crisis that right. we're facing. So, yeah, 293 Americans a day dying, 2,055 a week, 8,900 a month, and nothing from the White House. Disgusting. This is despicable. This man has allowed a crisis, which was already a big deal, to literally exacerbate and turn into a massive, massive epidemic where we're going to see, forget a hundred and some thousand, okay? We're going to get to the point where it's going to be half a million, million. I mean, it's everywhere. I've heard of this in, you know, it's in small town, northeast Indiana. It's in small little village uh, or parish, Louisiana, where people think, oh, it's never going to happen here. Or, no, I've been getting my buddy's Zanny bars for the last year from him. It's fine. I'm going to be. No, folks, you're taking something you didn't get a prescription for. You're gambling. You're playing Russian roulette with your life with these pills. Knock it off. And finally, Derek, I think we've got to start going after, because this is where, and you can, you can finish with this, the kids especially, and, and, and some of the younger folks, are buying these through the social media. TikTok and Snapchat and Instagram are the main three I'm hearing, correct? Right, the social media companies are enhancing the youth of America's ability to buy this poison. According to the Families Against Fentanyl, they're doing statistical studies of all the data, and they are determining now we have a new age group that is emerging from 13 to 18, Dan. Oh. So it's not just 18 to 45. And they are now determining that it's because of social media access that these kids are getting their hands on these fake pills. Right. But let's not forget to the American public, it's not just the pills, it's in the cocaine, it's in the meth, it's in the heroin. So just because you're not taking a pill doesn't mean you're going to be okay. Illicit drugs are killing at record levels, and people have to realize what's behind it. These labs in in Mexico, in Sinaloa, Mexico. Look, Dan, last October, they seized a lab that the AP reported was producing 70 million fake pills a month. The <sighs> DEA put out wow. a statistic. They seized enough fentanyl last year to kill every American. So, and the last thing I'm going to tell you, because it just came out, the sheriff from Orange County, California, just put out 
that in Orange County, there's been over a 1,700 percent increase in fentanyl related deaths the last five years. And in the state of California, 2,200 percent increase in deaths from fentanyl. Where, where is I live. Nancy Pelosi? I know. And where are the leaders? Yeah. Derek Maltz, former director at the DEA of Special Operations Division, thank you so much for sounding the alarm bell and continuing to do it daily, especially for our kids. God bless you, Derek. Take care. Thank you, Dan.